Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a very special guest commentator. He is a former University of Utah quarterback who was ranked number seven on the all-time top ten list and now calls the action for ESPN. Give a warm UCW Zero welcome to Frank Dolce! This evening is a number one contenders match for the Ultra Championship Wrestling Zero Women's Title. And now, from Charleston, South Carolina, Sierra Rose! Accompanied the ring by Cassidy Paradise. A little bit different setting than we're used to, Frank. Well, first of all, it's nice to be right in the action. We're usually sitting 50 yards away from everything on the glass in enclosure. This is, I mean, this is a real kind of gut of, of it is. happening right here. It's well, I'll tell you what, this is, a, this is where it all starts. This is the independent level. This is wrestling, and this is a number one contender's match. I'll tell you what, Paradise looks like she means business. She does, you know. You know, she got into a fight with a fan, and that, that is that is legitimate. She, you know, a fan took some liberties, and she is not afraid to fight anybody. This is only her second singles match. I think if you look at the two just standing in the way of Paradise and, and Rose, Rose certainly seems like she has the advantage. The, height, the, the length, the reach, maybe even the athleticism. I'm interested to see how this one works out. That is correct, and you know what's the thing about it is they both have been trained, um, and uh, Zach James, uh, her her newly acquired boyfriend, um, old boyfriend, has been training her for this match, and Cassidy has been training Paradise. Oh, uh, and see, she's. What is this? Is this is, this must be a Muhammad Ali type technique? Well, you know what? It kind of is. It's kind of the pro wrestling equivalent of that, where she's grabbing the rope to avoid contact, because when you're touching the rope. Your opponent technically can't touch you, but now look at this. See Swing now, and a miss. the length of her arms and the yeah. and the size of Paradise, you can see she's using it yeah. to her advantage. The diminutive status, and she does it again. There you go. See the duck under. That's right. And look at Paradise. She's just holding on that rope. She does not want to let go. She's listening to her coach Cassidy. She's not going to let go. I've seen this before. And here comes the lockup. Oh, Sierra. Rose. 
Oh, she's getting oh see, yep. she went, she she went high and then low. Oh, this cat fight! We have a cat fight. That was elbows and fists and arms and everything else. That's right, a little too much for Junior Greenhorn. And here we go with some slice bread. Oh, slice bread arm drag right there by Sierra Rose. I don't think Paradise knows what hit her. Oh, and a big bulldog. Sierra Rose taking control of this match. Going for the one, two, three. Oh, look at that, Zach James and Cassidy. Folks, you can't see it on your screen, but Zach James and Cassidy getting into it, and Sierra Rose turning her back to paradise. I think that's a big mistake. I'm not sure this is good. Oh, my goodness, did you oh, see that? Oh, wow. She took out her legs, and Sierra Rose might have a bloody nose. Yes, she does, and look at this, I'm telling you. Paradise taking advantage of the distraction here. And that's what Cassidy does here. You'd think that Zach James would keep that in check, but he didn't. And look at that front face lock. Oh, and a big forearm to the back of the neck. Now look at this. She's pulling her hair. She's got to the five count to let go. Using every dirty trick in the book. Cassidy is a dirty player, and she's playing dirty pool. Now, look at this. now Zach James making a rookie mistake in distracting the referee, allowing Cassidy to do whatever he wants. If Zach James would just sit down, that wouldn't happen. Zach James is concerned about everything except what's happening in the arena. Exactly. Rookie mistake from a veteran. I didn't think that would happen. And Paradise now taking control. Ooh, into the corner. Ooh, big elbow. Sierra Rose recover from this. The former champ is going to have to dig deep. Oh, look at that. And she did. I think she, oh, and the big head to the forehead. She might have been playing possum there, Frank. She may have, but you see the athleticism come through right there. Oh, yep. and the miss. Oh, and the reverse back boot to the throat. I wouldn't be surprised if she broke her jaw. Now I'll tell you something, Junior Greenhorn letting these women fight because technically that move is illegal. And Cassidy screaming, no cheating. <laughs> that oh, and a scratch right across the face. Sierra Rose taking the front. That's what's interesting about these fighting athletes is they'll do whatever they want to win. Among the males, there's a code. With the women, they do anything. Oh, and look at that. And look, Junior Greenhorn. Now, you don't know this as a guest commentator, but Junior is our new referee. He's not been here but more than a couple of months, and I think they're taking advantage of it. Has he been trained? Who has been trained? Or is this, is this on the job training? I'm a little concerned about what's happening in there. Oh, my gosh. You know what? Oh, and look at that. Zach James and Cassidy might be setting up for a match of their own on the outside. Oh, and look at this paradise just having a way. Uh-oh. We know what's coming here. She's trying to lead her, but Sierra doesn't want to go. Oh, and a hair mare. It wasn't the prettiest thing. Uh-oh. Paradise taking too much time. High risk on the ropes. That last maneuver, that would have been a 15-yard personal foul in our business. That's right. Oh, and a high five there. I don't know if you folks saw that. Now, I think she's spending too much time up there, paying too much attention and admiring her work. Oh! And a showing of strength there. Oh, and a big clothesline there. Oh, and there's some hook all the time. Sierra Rose, why don't you get up? Cross body. Oh, and Cassidy, come on. And Junior Green are noticing this. Zach James coming around. Oh, there we go. Hold on. Hold on, I gotta come forward with Junior Green on. Double DQ. Double DQ. No, throwing the whole double DQ is the winner. It's a double DQ, Frank. Double DQ? We're not talking Dairy Queen here, folks. 
referee Gene Greenhorn has ruled this a double disqualification for outside interference. There is no winner. Well, he had, to, he had to do something. And the crowd's chanting, let them fight. The crowd wanted him to fight. The referee doesn't have discretion, but I do. I follow his. Oh, here we go. This is not official. This is not an official match. And look at this, right in front of us, Zach James. This is setting up for a future match. Wow. What do you think about that, Frank? There you go. You are up for Frank Dolce and Commissioner Rafe. We'll be right back after this. Hold on, what? The CEO, Stevie Slick, into the arena. They're discussing something. I can't hear what exactly is going on. But I have to believe it's about that last matchup. Sarah Rose, Paradise, bring the referee in to consult. And Stevie Slick is very adamant about the point he's making. The commissioner, MK. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I've just confirmed with CEO Stevie Slick and our referee, Junior Greenwood. On September 27th, it was supposed to be Lacey Ryan, the women's champion, against the number one contender. But since there was no number one contender, we're going to put all three of them in the ring. What do you think? Oh all three of them in the ring, September 27th, incarceration right here. Are you ready for more? Right here at ECW. All right. The following contest is a four-way elimination match with no time limit. And introducing first, weighing in at 260 pounds, from New York, New York, the, he was the UCW's only death wrestler, the Dark Angel. Next 
predator making his UC WCW debut weighing at 165 pounds from Bachuca, Mexico, Dragon! And then Jason Bravo and then that game. I believe it's Jason Take care of him. Oh, and Drain the loose door up and over the top rope. Tucks it. And the next competitor, weighing in at 220 pounds from the upper auditorium, Jason Bravo. Competitor weighing in this moment at 187 pounds from Salt Lake City, Utah, Zach James. is when we don't have, we don't know who a, a contender is, it's not like college football where a committee guesses. We put them all in the ring. You know what? The only fair way to do it, it's like this college playoff, that's not right. fair. No. Let's get them all in the ring. Exactly. Now this is an elimination match. So once someone is pinned or submits, they have to leave and it keeps going to one guy but left. Only two in the ring at a time. That's that is correct. Tag it's tag, tag team, tag, tag team, team rules. Like now I'm very interested to see this uh, dragon guy. I'm a little nervous. Now. I can't lie. I mean, look at look at his size compared to the other people. Look at, well, he's quick. He's very quick. He's he's, witty. A, he's a luchador. He is a luchador. Trained in Pachuca, Mexico, by the famed uh, Omar Hernandez. Oh, see, that's how you take down the bigger man is uh, take away his legs. The bigger they are. Yep, the bigger they. Now, now the Dark Angel, as you, he's tough, homeless, raised in New York City, on the streets. Oh, two count there. Raised in the streets. I mean, nothing's gonna really hurt him. You have to really knock him out. Oh, now look at this. Jason Bravo refusing to tag. He's trying to tag. Oh, there we go. There we go. Well, see, the strategy is to stay on the outside. There you go. Sent the out of the ring. 
There you go. Oh. What is this? We'll see. The jazz hands is cheering when you're. He's deaf. And you know what? Sometimes this arena gets so loud, even the Dark Angel can miss here. Yes. It's just the rumbling. I can feel it. I don't know what Bravo and Dragon are talking about over there. Well, they got the two clap going. Well, you know what's interesting? What is he doesn't speak English? I don't think Bravo's been smartened up to the fact that uh, Dragon doesn't speak English. So we've got what's interesting is we've got a deaf wrestler who can't hear and a wrestler who can't speak or speak English. Oh! Now, if you notice, we're looking at the best seat in the house. Is there anything happening in the ring? Oh, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, there's I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. I'm just following the rules. It says stare. Yes. Now, Bravo loves to think that he is the most... Oh, taking a swipe. Now, to give you a little bit of the backstory here, Jason Bravo stole Sierra Rose from Zach James, and then Sierra Rose went back to Zach James. Ooh, European uppercut there. Yes, exactly. And there's a reversal in the ring. Oh, and a big... Oh, a body slam attempt by the Dark Angel, well scouted by Zach James. Using some of the traditional wrestling, trying to take a takedown into the ropes. Over. Roll up. Oh, there we one. Two. Oh. Nice bridge there by Zach James. Absolutely. You know what? The Dark Angel is a lot of man to control. And who's been in the ring the most of the time? He hasn't come out. No. He started. He has not come out. Oh, Enzo Geary. And Zach James, very popular with Enzo Geary. Oh, and again, just taking any chance he can to swat. That's a, that's a yeah, it is, and it's a tag, exactly. <laughs> and you, can, you, you folks couldn't see it until just a minute ago. Zach James mocking. Oh! And the Dark Angel taking advantage with two big clotheslines. Bravo has lost focus. He's too concerned about Zach James. That's exactly right, and I think Zach James had that in his game plan. It's a terrific game plan. He's a strategist, and you can see it working right here. Exactly. And the Dark Angel oh, and a big chop. You know, the Dark Angel told me through sign language that he likes to chop his opponents to where he can hear it. And for a deaf man to hear it, that is It's hard. And look at Bravo. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Just two count now, oh, Dark Angel. I think that was a little slow on the tap. You oh, know what? Three. It's one 1,000, two 1,000. These guys would like a one, two, three. Right, yeah. Right. Oh, but see the Dark Angel losing oh. focus himself. Oh, and I'll tell you something. He's a little soft around the midsection, and Jason Bravo oh. taking advantage of that. I think he's going even a little below the midsection. That may be below the belt. And you know what? The, the Dark Angel is double over. He's not going to like it. Oh, and the Dark Angel firing back with right hands and then a standing clothesline to the throat, and Jason Bravo is stunned. Now, the Dark Angel spending too much time, too much of his energy getting crowd approval. Body slam attempt again. Oh, and there we go. Jason Bravo going for the quick cover. Oh, uh, the Dark Angel has been eliminated. That's too bad. You know what? That was a gritty effort by the Dark Angel. He you know, left the ring. I kind of think that had he been able to tag in and out like the others, right. he would have lasted a bit longer. He needs a little rest. And look at, look at this. They roll him out of the ring. Unceremoniously. Yeah, yeah out wrestling's of the pretty ring. brutal. That is rough. See, we don't stop when there's injuries. <laughs> Somebody can't call a timeout. Nope. Now here comes the dragon comes in by the rules of the game. The, now what it was is, is the wrestler closest to the eliminator is the one that comes in. And that's why Bravo went right over to that corner as part of strategy because he wanted the smaller man, as you can see, taking advantage with those back elbows. So is the face on the dragon, is that kind of a traditional luchador? That is. It's basically you can have a mask like Los Mochi Paco, or you can have the face paint like Dragon. 
And I'm sorry. I, I, what's happening in the arena? What's happening right in front of us? Yes. I wouldn't mind if we went to commercial break and just have this. Right. Arena. Now the crowd. You know, I think Bravo feeds off of this. Now you played quarterback, and you played at BYU. When the fans are screaming and yelling, you does that motivate you? I think, and I think that's what Bravo does. I think that's what he wants. To do. I think that's part of his game. I agree. Oh no! Using the ropes. Uh oh! Oh no! Oh no! And Zach James. Oh! Now, one thing that I don't think you you know is that those ropes are elevator cable wrapped in hose. So that hurts. That, oh my goodness. I tell you what. And look at him just manhandle Dragon. The Dragon. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Now look at this. Dragon better start breathing fire. No, wait a minute here. He, if he gets to a five count, he gets disqualified. Now you got to understand. Now you realize if you do something like that, and the referee counts to five, you you will be eliminated. Bravo, too smart. He knows the five count. Oh, but you know, once again, look at this. Losing focus again. Yep. Playing to the crowd a little too much, and the dragon takes advantage. You know, spreading his wings. Look at this. High risk, high reward. He does. Oh, but <laughs> Bravo will have that none was a of can that. Can of corn in center field. There you go, and look at this. Oh, and the big over-the-shoulder slam. That's why we call it high risk. Oh, no. Oh, no, and the single leg crab. Is he, if he gives up. No, no. Oh, he grabbed, oh, he grabbed the rope. No, he didn't grab a hold of it. He didn't have, just like a football, he didn't have possession. Oh. Dragon has been eliminated. And Dragon's submitting there, so now it's down to the last two. Zach James. It could, you couldn't have written it better than this. That's a lover's quarrel. That's what it is. I mean, they're literally. Oh, and the crowd calling Zach James. Let's go, Zach. Oh, look at this. This is a fight. This is no strategy. This is a pure six brawl. Oh, and look at this. Jason Bravo on Quiz Street in the corner, taking those elbows. Junior Greenhorn separating him. He's got to let him out of the corner. And Jason Bravo taking advantage, putting him in the corner, throwing rights, and another right, and another right. Junior Greenhorn. Oh, and a big elbow to the face. Oh, and then the smashing forearm to the back. Junior Greenhorn separating him, warning him. Oh, and Zach James. Oh! Oh, and a big chop! Takes the breath right out of Bravo. Oh, and, and like, you know, they, it stops your heart for just a second there. Reversal into the ropes. Oh, tries to the... Oh, here we go. Oh, and then a roar! Oh, and he's got him in the torture rack! No, he's not submitting yet. You know, Jason Bravo, the longest, oh! Jason Bravo, the longest reigning UCW Zero champion. I don't think we'll give up. Oh, there we go, look, one. And he reverses the bridge, no, just a two count. Tremendous I, athleticism right there. You know what, I think Zach James had a better chance, and a big European uppercut, had a better chance of getting him just to submit. Right, and why didn't he hold on? He should have. He let him go. Critical error. And here we go, slice spread. Oh, and a missed Frankensteiner. Tried for the Frankensteiner. Oh, no. Oh, and a big power bomb. Look at that. That took almost as much out of Jason Bravo as it did Zach James. I think that's it. Oh! 
thought Zach James was done. What, what do you do when you have your opponent that beat and they don't submit? It just takes a little bit of the will. I wonder if Zach James took a little bit of the will of Jason Bravo. This is a look at this. Now. Right. He's taking it right back. And now, you know, Jason Bravo has not, is doing his Bravo combo, a big knee. I wonder if Zach James wishes he would have taken Oh, and a big leg drop. Oh, go ahead, Frank. I'm sorry. I, I just wonder if Zach James wished he would have take, taken the three count because now he's getting punched. Look at this, and here comes. And now he's talking to him. Oh, and no. This is personal. Oh! Him. And Zach James oh. not having any of it, doing what he can. Oh, with a big headbutt to the midsection. That could be a concussive event right there. See how oh, there you go. Oh, and into the corner. Out of the room. Is he out? I'll tell you what. Zach James can't get back in. Oh, no. Here comes Zach James. Oh, no. Here it comes. Oh, and he reversed it. Put his knees up. Playing possum. He knew oh. what Zach James was going to do, and he reversed it on him. have been watching the tapes. Oh, that's exactly right. And a reverse neck breaker right there. Sierra Rose pleading. You know, it's taking almost as much out of Sierra Rose as it is Zach James, and here we go. I think this is it. Oh, oh, two and three quarter count. Two and three quarter count. Bravo is stunned. Why is he back on top? Bravo is stunned. It was fourth and inches on the zero and a half yard line, and he didn't get in. And look at Zach James. You know what? I think he's knocked him out and back into it. That's exactly right. Oh, get up, baby. He's holding, he's holding that line of scrimmage as much as he can, but oh, now he's Oh, look at this. What is happening, MK? Oh, he's got him against the rope. Oh, and look at that. He's just punishing him. Oh. There's the four count. Oh, 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 he's letting him go. See, see Junior Greenhorn. Oh, wait a minute here. And the count starts over. Yep. Oh, if he gets to five, it's over. Oh, wow, now he's touching the ref. I don't know how much. Is that it? That's he had to do that. Yeah, he had no choice. Bravo, Jason Bravo has been disqualified and is therefore eliminated. Your winner, Zach James. Zach James, Sierra Rose, you think this thing between you and me is over? No, it's not over until I say it's over. This is I swear, I will not rest until I have your blood on my hands. This is personal, personal. Bravo! Bravo! This is not about winning or losing. This is personal. Two men that just want to kill each other in the ring. The parents of the heart become difficult. That's exactly right. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Our next match coming up. BR Ultra Championship Wrestling Zero, Utah's best live pro wrestling action in Salt Lake City, Utah, at the UCW Training Center, 47 South Orange Street. Tickets are $10 for general admission and $3 for kids 6 and under. Doors open at 6 p.m. and bell time is 6.30 p.m. For more information, go to www.ucwzero.com or call 801-699-7977. And remember, do not try this at home. We are trained professionals. Leave it to us. We are Ultra Championship Wrestling Zero. Motivational pain. The following tag team contest 
is scheduled for one fall and a 20 minute time limit. Right here. Introducing first, out of combined weight of 515 pounds, Cassidy, and welcome back, David the Destroyer. like Tommy Purr took a liking to you, Frank. I was just saying, MK, I'm not sure exactly how I feel about that. One way I'm flattered, and one way I'm just been disturbed. I'll tell you something. Tommy Purr is not a person to be messed with in that ring, though. All of this, all of this is for them. They're actually accomplished fighting athletes. Coordinating outfits. What do you call those? Leg um, warmers. Holy cow. That I is call it special. I call it festive. <laughs> it is a festivus for the rest of us. That is correct. Yeah. Having words with MK. I'm not yes, sure I did set it up. I was the one that called it. I was the one that what? called it. David the Destroyer and Cassidy having a little problem with their opponent. That's right. You know, David. David the Destroyer and Cassidy haven't tagged him for quite a while now, and I thought I'd give him a little surprise. Well, I think that is a surprise, as you can tell by, they came over right over here. They wanted to talk to him. I don't think they liked it at all. Now, Chip is actually from, uh, he is from the Castro District of San Francisco, California. A lovely area. And, you know, and Tommy Purr is from Las Vegas, Nevada. You know, the long distance relationships do work. And I'll tell you something, the crowd absolutely, there's a whole contingent opposite the hard cam with Tommy Per t-shirts on. So I'm interested to see if the tech, wow, wow, that was below the belt, MK. Yes, it sure was. Oh and I'll tell you something. Goodness. I was going to ask if the technique was going to be a little different. That the technique different. is a lot different, and I'll tell you something. <laughs> see? giving them a 10 for style points. You know what? And I'm going to tell you something. They use all of this to their advantage because they are tough sons of guns. They know how to wrestle. They know how to fight. <laughs> and here we go. Chip and Cassidy. Now look at this. Did you see what he was doing with his head? Oh! What just splattered? He had skittles in his mouth. I don't 
think those came out of his mouth. Oh, I don't think so either. Uh oh. And Tommy Poo. Oh, no, no. I'm back. I have to back away from the microphone. I don't think David the Destroyer wants any part of this. Junior Greenhorn reminding him that a 10 count starts, you got to get in the ring. That's right, 10 count outside the ring. Yep. Reluctantly, he steps in. The Destroyer. If he's really the Destroyer, he should make quick work of this. Oh! oh! A little love tap from behind, if you will. And see, all of this is to get in the head of your opponent. Another one. This is a different approach to winning. Oh, see? And when you least expect it, here comes the drop kick. He looks so friendly. Oh, and see, there it comes. Do not underestimate Chip and Tommy Purr. Oh, and that's called the Purr Akinrata. As David the Destroyer goes out of the ring, I don't think Cassidy and David know what hit them. Oh, I think they do know what hit them. They're just not so sure. <laughs> Oh, look at this, arguing over the tag. Now, you folks can't see that on the monitor, but they were actually arguing over who goes in and kept tagging each other out. A little, a little indecision on the other side as well. Oh, look at this. I mean, a little indecision. Oh, I think they're fully committed. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah, well, that's what I was getting at. Oh, nice drop toe hold there by Chip. And like I said, each man is an accomplished fighting athlete. Don't let the silly costumes, don't let their behavior fool them. They are tough and they will fight. As they go up the soft midsection of Cassidy. Oh, and there we go, a bit of a double team. Right there. And that is the definition of double team. At least two people have a smile on their face after that sequence of events. And look at Cassidy. It's taken an effect on him. This is a mental war of attrition and a physical war as you see it. Oh, no, I no. Oh! And the rear end in the... Oh, and there we go. The Bronco Buster. Oh, and in the face. That is what's called a tea bag. I think he rode him for eight seconds. Yes, he did. Oh, oh, and Cassidy. That chip. Don't start playing to the crowd, Chip. You're right. And look at this. Cassidy knows how to play the tag oh. team game as he turns the referee around. Look at Chip. He's upside down. He's on what they call the true row, and here comes David the Destroyer. He is a big man. He's not going to take much more of that. And he is a brawler. Specimen. And Tommy Perk complaining about the closed fist. David the Destroyer has never been one to follow the rules. And look at this. Tommy Perk doesn't want any part of him. I think David the Destroyer lost his inhibition. He's right back in. The oh, and he's trying for the power bomb. Into the rope. Oh, no. Oh, and he tries another one. What? Oh, and he punched him right in the face. Where is the officiator? The official has his hands full, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Dave, and look, Chip is in the wrong corner. Oh, he is, and they're cutting off the ring effectively. Sometimes the antics are good. Oh. And here it comes. That spinning rainbow. Oh, there you go. And the spinning rainbow, a new move invented by my broadcast partner, Frank Dolce. I like it. I'm going to use it. Oh. Oh, wow. And another spinning rainbow on the knee. He's going to feel that. Now, look at this. He had to figure something out. He had to touch something female. Now, you folks can't see this, but Cassidy is kissing and holding Paradise on the outside of the ring. Oh, and there he goes. Oh, and he took too much time. Chip taking advantage of Cassidy, confirming his manhood there. Cassidy is trying to figure out his gender preference. He was drilled outside of the ring. That's right. While Cassidy 
figures out his gender preference. I love it. And here comes Tommy Per clean tag. Oh, and a big hug. Oh, and like I said, tried for a DDT. Didn't quite get it, but was able to put him over on his back. Was it Tommy Per that said stand up for your man? Yes. And here comes the bulldog. Oh! Tommy Per going for the cover. That was the missionary cover by Tommy Per. Now I'll tell you something. Tommy Per only he only goes a few minutes at a time. That's right. All these men are in great shape, but a match like this has to take it out of you. Oh, what's he doing? Oh no, a threesome! We have a threesome. Oh, and now they kiss the ref. And look at this, Cassidy leaving. And David the Destroyer being left in the ring by himself. Oh, and he grabs him by the... Well, what do you say other than Yahtzee? He's got a five count. Junior Green going. Oh, and a double. And Junior Green going. Oh, and then they threw him over by the testicles. That's being called grabbed by the short and curlies. But where's Cassidy? And his finishing move, the drop dead gorgeous, the even flow DDT. David the Destroyer's partner, Cassidy, has left. Oh no. What a shame on Cassidy. Where is the partner? Oh, and a big splash. Under a double man, like and, and your winners, the Fire Twins, Chip and Tommy Poe. Tommy Poe, I just hope they don't celebrate too much in the ring. If you no, like no, that. we don't want to see that. No, Frank, I just got to tell you, our main event is coming right up. It is Rocky Ocean from San Juan, Puerto Rico against Manny Fresh, the Ultra X Champions. And you know what we say about the Ultra X Championship? It's not about weight limits. It's about no limits. Hey, wait. David the Destroyer wants to say something. Let's keep it here. Let's keep it here, Victoria. We're going to keep it right here. Mike's on hand is Mike Ready. David the Destroyer run to a blow! Shut up while I'm talking! Shut up! Hey Chip, you dead man and you're a brain hat who got you to black mouth because we're dumb. I'm calling Chip and Cassidy to reach a mile in the cage. I'm going to whip that ass! Oh, calling out! In the cage in two weeks. You shut your mouth. Oh, wow. Shit. Cassidy. I am not a bee. Whoa. David the Destroyer calling out Chip and Cassidy. He's mad at each one in two weeks right here in incarceration. And our main event. BR Ultra Championship Wrestling Zero, Utah's best live pro wrestling action in Salt Lake City, Utah, at the UCW Training Center, 47 South Orange Street. Tickets are $10 for general admission and $3 for kids 6 and under. Doors open at 6 p.m. and bell time is 6.30 p.m. For more information, go to www.ucwzero.com or call 801-699-7977. And remember, do not try this at home. We are trained professionals. Leave it to us. We are Ultra Championship Wrestling Zero. Motivational pain. Manny Fresh, let's take it to the ring and the commissioner, MK. 
The following contest is scheduled for one fall with a 30 minute time limit and it's for the Ultra Championship Wrestling Ultra X Championship. And now the challenger weighing in this morning at 215 pounds from San Juan, Puerto Rico, Rocky Ocean. to the ring, the UCW Zero Ultra X Champion, Manny Fresh. Look at this. Unique is right, that's the name he sports on the jersey. From the classic orange, yellow, and black. Makes his way around the arena, slapping five with the fans. Love him. They can't get enough. Pops up in the ring. And he calls the Rocky Ocean. Rocky, a great name for a fighter. We'll see if he can take Manny Fresh to the limit tonight. Holding the bell high above his head in the corner. A spectacular display. An exchange. Oh, look at this. An exchange in the middle of the ring. And Ocean is claiming that he is going to take the belt from Fresh. A little disagreement ensues. And the official has to step in. Now it gets a little more heated. Machismo in the ring with Rocky Ocean. Here comes the jersey. Fresh incites the crowd and they call his name and chant his name as we get ready for the final match of the night. And here we go, our main event. Now, Manny Fresh wearing his Utah State Unique Semi Pro. Now, you two could get together. He's a wide receiver. I'm telling you what, that's a magic combination. There you go. It was Dolce and Roly. And now it's, uh, I don't know who his quarterback is, but there we go. <laughs> get Dolce Fresh. There you go. I That's can't it. understand what he's See, saying. See, he only, you know what his, he, his attitude is, if you don't understand Spanish, that's your problem, because he is an American from Puerto Rico. Of the territories of the United States. That's exactly America. right. But let me tell you, brother, you speak English in this country. Oh, look at this. Now, he is a third oh. shot. Oh! Look at that shoulder tackle using some of his football. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Are you sure he's not a linebacker? I'll tell you something. That's he, not a wide receiver. Man. He actually was a linebacker in high school. Yes, he was. He is showing ocean. Now, I'll tell you something. This is his first defense of the Ultra X title. Whoa. Now, you've got to be an athlete to do that. Went out the ring. And you know, if they get to a 10 count, it's as good as retaining the title, right? Yeah, absolutely. The athleticism right here makes it 
the best we've seen tonight. Manny Fresh. This is a superb athlete. Look how he moves around the ring. Look at the agility. Well, I mean, a two, a two sport athlete. You know, you have Deion Sanders, Bo Jackson. I mean, football and professional wrestling. That's right. Why are we talking Manny Fresh? There you go. Oh, look at this. These are the type of antics that Rocky Ocean. Oh, and there he goes. Rocky Ocean. I think the tide is rolling out of Rocky Ocean. That's right. He likes to call himself the Sea Snake. <laughs> sea Snakes aren't supposed to be right. Oh, big boot to the face. Wait a second. See, and that's what I'm talking about. These type of dirty tactics are to get in the head of your opponent to make that one mistake to turn your head, and boom, they take advantage. I know. No, I don't either. Oh, big chop there. And now Fresh is taking a little bit of a beating. But he's an athlete. Oh, oh big chop there. He's an athlete. I have to believe that he's going to find his will and his way back. Well, I'll tell you something. Rocky Ocean. Whoa. Oh, and a kick to the back. On his feet. Now, I'll tell you something. Rocky Ocean sometimes goes to the head, sometimes goes to the back, and sometimes just slides down and takes out the knee. He chose the back right there. And now he's working on that back. Over and over again. How can the man take the punishment? Oh, and see, in professional wrestling, you pick a point of weakness, and you keep working on it until you submit. Oh, he is. Oh, Manny Fresh trying to... There's the heart of a champion. Yep. And look at that. Oh, big chop on the ropes. And look at that. Even Junior Greenhorn, our referee. Oh! Up in the air and then a Samoan drop. Now that's athleticism on Rocky Ocean's part. We may have a new champion. Oh, almost. Whew. You know what? I don't like the dirty stuff, but that Rocky Ocean, that was a great display. Throwing him up in the air, taking him down to the back. Yep. And that's what, what happens. A third generation wrestler. I mean, he learned that from his grandfather down to his father down to him. At this point, it's just genetic. It's it really is. is. Now, look at this. He's choking him. He's got the four count. See, like he said, he's a smart. That's the one thing about these dirty players. They know the rules and they use them against you. I'm not sure it's legal to touch the referee. You know what it reminds me of? Back in the day when Lavelle Edwards would yes. teach his guys to hold just long enough and then let go. Exactly his offensive right. lineman. You know, and they, they said, how do you the question was, how do you have so much success? And the answer, we hold. That's exactly right. How what's your answer to success? I, I, I use the four count to my advantage. Now look at this. This is a roar of attrition. This is wrestling here. And look at that. This right here is almost a form of a sleeper hold to where you take the jugular and the carotid artery yeah, and just squeeze it like and a And squeeze pipe. it, exactly, like a sea snake. Like a sea snake. Now the reversal for this is to take that elbow. But see, now Manny can hang in there. Now what the chance that you take in doing that move is that your opponent won't have that strength. Oh, and a big cross body. Oh, and that took enough out of each of them. And they're both their heads knocked. It was a meeting of the minds. In the middle of the ring, who is going to get up first? I saw Rocky and Apollo Creed do this, and Rocky whatever. Exactly, and here we go. Five. Now, if there is, it, then, then the champion retains. It is considered a draw, and the champion retains. Now look at Manny Fresh. Once again, high risk, but high reward. Oh, and a big cross body on the head of Rocky Ocean. How did he get up? I don't know how Ocean recovered so You know, he's just operating on instinct right now. He's operating on instinct. That's exactly right. He finds his way to the down. How does he keep getting up? That is a heart of a champion. You know, you're taught to get up as the minute you... Oh, and now he's like pleading for his life. Now, what's Manny doing? Is that a Puerto Rican oh. technique? No, I think that's a cowardly technique. Oh, and then, no, 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 don't do it. Don't let him do it. Oh, and he rakes the face. That's terrible. Now, what's he doing here? What is Ocean doing? Look at Manny. Oh, no. Oh, oh no, not the chair. Oh, now I've taken a few of those to my noggin. Not the chair. And it's not, oh, no, no. Now, if he does this, he loses. Oh. Oh, 
the chairs down. The chairs down is still in the ring. Oh no! Oh, wait he could lose the title. Oh, I see Junior Green on wanting this to be a championship match. So he, well, what's he doing? Oh no! See, he put this there. You know what? He put a chair there. This is terrible. This is terrible. Now look, Junior Greenhorn putting the chair away. No. Oh! Oh no! And Junior Greenhorn didn't see that. You folks, I don't know. Oh no! Oh no! Wait, is he going? Come on! Junior Greenhorn doesn't know what to do. We need an instant replay. He hit him with a chair. Oh no! Oh no! Wait a second, wait a second, this has to And the winner of the match, and new Ultra X Champion, Rocky Ocean! You, you can't, that is the evil technique. They have to, somebody has to appeal to the commissioner. Somebody has to appeal to the commissioner. There is no replay in wrestling, but I'm going to review the tapes. Review it because you and I both saw it. I, I would be happy to provide my eyewitness testimony if that would be if you can count on that. Unbelievable. The only way we finish things are in the ring. And I'm going to tell you something. In two weeks, we have incarceration. It may be settled right there that evening. But Rocky Ocean clearly had to be won the championship. So what do you think, Frank Dolce, of Ultra Championship Wrestling Zero? Unbelievable. I may not be able to go to sleep tonight. I am really excited. My heart is racing, and I have not seen athleticism like this in quite some time. There you have it, folks. We're Frank Dolce. I am Commissioner Inkay. Thank you very much. We'll see you in two weeks at incarceration.